Hey guys, it's Jordan, host of Alter Element Games, and today we're going to talk about Pokemon Go, Overwatch, the Summer Games, Lucio Ball, and Abzu. So stay tuned. This is Gaming and News Updates. Check it out. Pokemon Go and the neglectfulness of Niantic in making the game harder for trainers overall, making it harder to catch Pokemon, taking third party support out of it because, you know, for some reason, you know, on, on one spectrum of the the whole thing, it's like, this app, this third party app is helping me find, you know, stuff in my area because I don't live in a city, I live in the middle of, you know, uh, Kalamazoo or whatever and I can't you know travel that far so I, I want to know my destinations and on the other side of the spectrum it's like well you guys are cheating so that's not fair and you know you know that takes the joy and mystery out of the Pokemon and you know both sides has this like points or whatever but still Niantic you're taking it the wrong way man like come on guys this game was a huge success because of the fans not you dude like nobody gave a fuck about Ingress like and Pokemon Go was the fans making it big you know let the fans you know make the game fun stop taking the fun out of Pokemon Go dude relax on that just chill calm down it'll be better come on man stop putting all these restrictions remember when the game is fun and not hard to make, you know, other people spend more money? Like, what the hell is with that? You should know better than this, man. Learn from this lesson, because this game popularity, it's going down fast. And I mean real fast, dude. So, uh, watch out. Keep that in mind. Okay, let me look at my notes here. We have Overwatch. Yeah, let's talk about something positive for, you know, for once. <laughs> uh, Overwatch has its summer games that came out with a great update featuring Lucio Ball. Lucio Ball. That was awesome. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that picture that I have up there. God, Lucio Ball is so cool. And like, there's new outfits. Now, this is a free update, y'all. There's new outfits, new skins, new colors, new uh, tags, new icons, new highlight intros for Tracer, Junkrat, Lucio, and I think one more person. I, I just can't get it in the top of my head. But this is all for free, guys. And this update is pretty, pretty rad. And, you know, Zarya's new skin is pretty cool, too. But the biggest thing to me was Lucio Ball. And how it's like a take on Rocket League, but with nothing but Lucio's and this physics kind of thing. Now, the game is fun. It's fantastic. There, it, there are some hiccups with, like, hit detection with the ball and, you know, how the physics work or whatever. But this game is for fun. It's not really to be taken serious with. But overall, yeah, the Lucio Ball is a great hit. It's really fun. I kind of wish you got more XP for playing the game because it's really hard to level up with, you know, if you're like le past level 100 or whatever and you're kind of like, you're playing this game for fun, it takes a long time for Lucio Ball, you know, even when you're with a group, it takes a long time for you to like, even move up a level, you know, just to, just to, just give us a little bit more XP, please, please, that's all, that's all I can say. Uh, yeah, the update is great, man. It's fantastic, dude. Like, wow, I didn't even see this coming. When I updated my computer, there was, like, the new, the new field, the new colors, like, Tracer with a Britain flag and, like, her new design look. I kind of wish that Lucio kept his glasses with his outfit, but that's just a small nitpick here and there. But this update, man, I hope this, you know, this is going to be a seasonal, you know, like, annual thing or whatever, or... Like a one-time deal or whatever. I'm going to make the most of it and try to get all these once-in-a-lifetime skins. And then, you know, move on back to competitive and casual. But this is a really good update. And it's really fun. You guys should try it out. Because I spent, like, almost two hours just, like, playing that one mode. And then, like, going back to casual. So that's a really, really great update. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jeff Kaplan, thanks Overwatch, it's been really fun, Lucio Ball, really good, really good update, really good, uh, you know, sneaky Rocket League, you know, homage there, that was pretty awesome, never knew they can do that. Next and last, we have Abzu, the latest game to come out from the creators of Journey, Abzu is kind of like Journey, but in the ocean, in the water, and you're exploring these elements, and it's not just like you in this blue depth of ocean, it's multiple colors, it's multiple themes is multiple 
uh, color schemes and color theory that kind of like, you know, complement and contrast each other. It's really awesome. I'm, Awesome, and I, I've been watching a few streamers play it already, and I want to play it as soon as possible so I can review it and, like, you know, give my opinion to have discussion with you guys. Because I did like Journey, but I really didn't have, like, a time enough to, like, review the game. And this is back when I wasn't a reviewer online or, you know, didn't have this game discussions on it. Because that's one video I want to do the rundown on rundown I want to do a video on journey and Absu and how like the game flow of that game and the experience can take you to like a whole new site in the gaming industry you know uh, games that give you that full bone ex experience like Abzu and inside and you know other games like that that don't really require heavy gameplay mechanics but take you on a journey take you on an experience that you just want to you know, makes you relax or make you interested or make you tense. This gives you different experience like the more you play the game. And I've been watching streamers play it. What do you guys think of Abzu? What do you guys think of Overwatch? What do you guys think of, you know, Pokemon Go, what I've been talking about before? Overwatch is pretty fun. Abzu is really great and it's looking fun. I might have to buy that as soon as possible. Also, before I end this video, I need to update you guys on my next video games that need a sequel. Time Splinters. Time Splinter series. Yeah, there, there it is. I love this series so much from the PlayStation 2 and PC era. So I'm doing, that's my next series also with Bulletstorm as well because I forgot to do that one. And let me know what other games need a sequel and get back with me and then I'll jot it down on my list of incoming videos. I'll be working on those for the next month and hopefully you guys will see it and you know, give me some feedback on it because this is something that I really want to do. I want to make more rundown videos and I want to make more sequel videos along with gaming and news updates to keep relevant. Alright guys, this is your man Jordan, host of Alter Element Games. Thank you for watching so much and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like and share, dude. Help me out and I'll try to do my best over here in this channel. Alright dudes, I'll see you later. Have a great one. Peace. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.